welcoming in studio Tom Green. Tom? Great to be here. Yeah. 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 Great to be here. Thanks for having me, guys. This is awesome. Great to be in Las Vegas. I love your website. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you been on the website? TomGreen.com. Absolutely, yeah. The interview, if you haven't checked it out, people, go see the interview with uh, Dan Rather explaining spitting and how to keep a horse from... Uh, yeah, chewing tobacco, yeah. Chew well, I like the spitting part. That's yeah. the aftermath of the yeah. tobacco. I had a spittoon on the show. I had to run out and get a spittoon. Dan Rather, yeah, he was on my show for an hour uh, recently. I do a new TV show on Axis TV which is uh, Mark Cuban's network, and uh, it's a great network, it's a live network, and my show is live on television there, and it's a lot of fun, we do it Thursday nights, and it's an interview show where we have uh, a guest for a full hour, usually, sometimes two guests, but it's, it's an in-depth, long format interview, and it was pretty cool to be able to interview Dan Rather for an hour, because you know he's a legendary journalist yeah. with so many amazing stories, so yeah. Well, so, so I do the show Thursday night, and then I'm coming to Vegas every weekend now, doing shows at, uh, yeah. at Vinyl at the Hard Rock, so that's what's going on. It's exciting. Nice. Thanks for having me on the show. Which is a great venue uh, I, for rock or comedy. It's yeah. just the perfect size. It's fun to go to and easy to get in and out, but before we leave your show for a minute, yeah. When you interview an icon, to me, Dan Rather, I mean, whether you like him or disagree with his politics, whatever, he's been on TV for for all of our yeah, lives, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you ever become, when you interview somebody, like a fan? Do you all of a sudden, or are you professional yeah. enough to just keep that away, or are you sometimes no, just I like, start holy mackerel? I'm always a fan of, of the, the guests, generally. I mean, all the guests that I've had on the show so far are there because I've invited them because I'm a fan. Uh, but... Uh, I suppose if I wasn't a fan, I, I could become a fan. But uh, I, you know, I do read every every one of their their books, and like Dan Rather's written several books. So I sort of immerse myself in their life for, you know, the week or two or three before they're they're there at the show. And uh, it's really kind of cool when you get to interview someone like Dan Rather, who's got all these incredible stories, and you know, uh, you know, you get to sort of really immerse yourself in his world. And he was there when JFK was assassinated. He was right. standing there right by the grassy knoll. He met Marth Martin Luther King when he was just a, a basically a kid, a young reporter, you know, in, in Memphis. He met him. And uh, so it was, it's just kind of uh, sort of almost like a glimpse into history when you get to, to you know, you get to ask somebody first-hand questions about these people and these things that they've experienced. But, uh, you know, for the most part, we have comedians on the show, like I had Norm MacDonald on the show or Andrew Dice Clay on the show or... Uh, Carrot Top came uh, down to LA and did the show a few weeks ago, and uh, you know I'm a huge fan of comedy, and I like to be able to get to sit with these people for an hour and really. Who would your perfect guest be? Somebody maybe unreachable, but if you could have one person on, who would it be? Well, I uh, Justin Bieber. <laughs> I know he's not a comedian, but I'd like to talk to Justin Bieber for an hour, get inside the mind of the Bieber. My Canadian uh, brethren here, as yeah. those Canadians stick together. But no, I, uh, you know, I, uh, I really have, you know, really enjoyed the guests that we've had on the show. We had Howie Mandel for an hour. I got to interview uh, Richard Belzer was our very first guest. Uh, you know, legendary stand-up comedians yeah. and people that uh, that I just have a lot of respect for and a lot of interest in, in sort of hearing about the details of their lives. And so. How about Rob Ford? Rob Ford would oh, be the best. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the all Canadian be the best show ever. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's pretty amazing how 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 uh, you know how Americans just know who Rob Ford is. It's sort of like the, the the one time Canada gets any recognition, and it's for all the wrong reasons. I know, right? No, no, it's for all the right reasons. Yeah. Isn't that amazing, though? You know, it's just because our society just rewards negativity oh, so yeah. much. Yeah, for you know, sure. You're, you're the mayor of Toronto. You smoke some crack, and then all of a sudden, you're the biggest thing that's come out of Canada since <laughs> Justin Bieber. Oh, I know. You know, it's funny that those those two are the kings of can, can it, are Canada right now. It's starting to weird. Like can, it's weird. Like it's going to get weird. Like Canada's going to get like a weird rep for being like weird or something. <laughs> no one ever thought of Canada as as as, as like docile, you know, cracked out. Think of them as know. docile. Yeah. Now we're sort yeah. of the Justin Bieber, Rob Ford nation. Yeah. It's outrageous. <laughs> hey, go get some uh, heroin or crack for Tom Green. We'll, we'll put him up there in the scratch. For people who don't know, you are from Canada. What part of Canada? From Ottawa, Canada, the capital of Canada, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, freezing up there. Lot, 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 it's fun being here in Vegas doing shows because a lot of Canadians come to the shows. It's a really international crowd that comes out to the show here, and that's that's fun for me because 
Yeah, I've been touring all over the world the last uh, you know, few years doing stand-up and in Australia and in Canada and all over the U.S. And, and I've got different kinds of jokes that I think you know appeal to different parts of the world. And so have everyone come together in one room and put it all together in one place. You see the Canadians laugh over there and the North Koreans are like, this yeah. is not funny. Yeah, big North Korea. there's a big North Korean crowd that comes out to the show, you know? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Kimchi jokes or something? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, and uh, so I'm having it. But you know, the fun thing about playing at vinyl is is that I'm I'm real good friends with Andrew Dice Clay, and he's performing at vinyl, and uh, he he's, he goes on uh, every night after after me, and so my show's at 7:30, and then usually I end up hanging out, and uh, this that's what I've been doing this week, and hanging out afterwards, and uh, watching Dice's show, and then we we go hang out after, and he's a little. Uh, I mean, he did. I, I wasn't going to say anything, but uh, he, he, we talked about this last night, and he was a little. I mean, uh, I, I, I'm not sure if he wants me to say anything, but he was a little. Uh, you know, I, I guess he's banned here. Did you guys banned? <laughs> no, no, we, we lifted that. We lifted that. You lifted been the band? Yeah. Oh, okay. The band was yeah. lifted. I don't know. He, yeah. he, I, he seems like he's a little bit upset about he it was, or something. Yeah, he was pretty ticked about it. Yeah, because he, uh, he, he mentioned it. He, when I told him that I was coming to see you guys, he made a point to say, hey, I, I, those guys banned me." Yeah. He's actually, he drove me here this morning. <laughs> he's out yeah, of No, he's over at the Dunkin' Donuts right now. Well, he's allowed still in our parking lot, just not in our studio. Yeah, he said, he, said he, he, wouldn't, he, didn't, he wouldn't come in, he couldn't come in because he's banned. So he's, you might want to call him, try, you know, maybe I can help smooth this over for you guys or something. Yeah. Cause he's, he's See, now he's talking like a Canadian again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, we'll go around the world and oh. we'll spread our love, yeah. eh? Yeah, I'll be like a United Nations peacekeeper between we you guys. Are the world. Dice Clay, yeah. But what is the last thing can you remember that made you throw up? We love to ask celebrities this question. You know, it's kind of a. I, I remember. Uh, I mean, it, it, <laughs> if, if not not including, uh, you know, excessive drinking. No, no. If it well, was, I can include that. I mean, if you want to go off the table and say taking out excessive drinking. Yeah, I think might as well take that out because that's that's just sort of. That's a, this morning. That's a nightly occurrence. <laughs> no. No. Uh, now, I've actually been trying to cut back on the booze, though, to be honest with you. Not to, like, unload on you all my problems and stuff. <laughs> but uh, I've actually been doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm really... I mean, I don't have a problem with it or anything anymore. Now, I, I, I think there's been a period of time where maybe I, you know... I've been drinking too much, but I, I got it together now. Not that you asked or anything. No, <laughs> the things are going pretty right, good. Let's yeah. refocus. When's the last time you threw up? You know, I'll tell you a funny time that I was surprised to have thrown up, which was... Uh, uh, I was watching the show Fear Factor. Oh! And I had a, I threw up just because of something that they did on the show, <laughs> which I just thought was kind of odd. I told Joe Rogan about it once when I interviewed him on my podcast a few years ago. You know, it's odd that you know I would throw up because you know on my show we used to do all these sort of gross out gags. But I was watching Fear Factor one night, a couple years ago, and uh, they took frozen rats. Put them in a blender, oh. blended them up, and made milkshakes out of them, oh and then made the contestants drink it. Oh. And just as soon as they said what they were doing, as soon as they started doing that, I, I, I threw up. Yeah. And hopefully, the blender hopefully, I've passed that along and, and made a few people in Las Vegas throw up. <laughs>